Hey, Danielle, thank you for asking this question. I get this question so much and so many people get confused by pricing. So I just want to kind of clarify it for you. So you are using your MSRP. So your MSRP in some categories is going to show a slash through when your price is different in some categories. In some categories, it does not. OK, um, so can you add a sales price? So for example, you right now you have your MSRP at $39 and your price is $39 as well. Your sale price, you wanna run a sale for $25, that's fine. So you're gonna click edit on your listing and you're gonna go into your offer tab and you're going to set a sale price for $25 and you may schedule it for a week or three months or however you want to do it, that's fine. That will not affect your buy box. That's going to immediately put your item on sale and everything will be fine. But you're asking about your fees. How are your fees calculated? When you run a sale, your fees are calculated based on whatever price is in the buy box. So if you're running a sale for $25, your, um, your fees are gonna be calculated based on that $25. The difference, this is where you're getting it confused. When you run a coupon or a promotion, that doesn't affect your buy box price, right? Because somebody has to do something to change that price, right? They have to apply that coupon or they have to accept that promotion or put a code, you know, a coupon code in to take that promotion, to get that promotion taken care of. So your buy box price is not affected. So if your buy box price is $39 and you're running a coupon for $10 off, you're paying fees based on that $39 because the coupon is charged separately. But anytime you run a sales price, it's I always tell people when they set up their listing, you want to make sure that your price, your MSRP is like your suggested retail price. So the value of that item. It doesn't matter if that item never sells. So if I say the value of this, you know, double wall, you know, awesome water bottle is $40, that's fine. Even if I sell it for 25, you know, it's, it's fine. If the suggested retail price, the value of it is $40, right? Now, my price, whatever I set in the price, when I set up a listing, I want to make sure that the price is where I eventually want to to work to so that I don't have to sit here and play these 2% price manipulation games with Amazon, right? I want to, whenever I set up my listing, I want to make sure that that price is where I want to work to. So if the MSRP is $45 or $40 for this, and I really just, I want to be able to sell it for $38.99. Like, I feel like that's the perfect price. It's competitive. It's awesome. Well, then I'm going to put, when I create that listing, the price is going to be $38.99. And if I launch and run any promotions, I'm going to use the sale box in the offer tab and not change the price because it really just it doesn't look good, right? When you're constantly changing the price, when you're, you know, messing things around constantly, just use that sales price field. Then you don't ever have to worry about losing the buy box. Your price will be calculated based on that buy box price. So it does affect the buy box price when you use the sale price field. And then if you're wanting to run a coupon or a promotion, then you can set that up and again, your Amazon fees are calculated based on that price, whatever's in the buy box at the time, right? Not based on your promotion. So take those things into uh, account when you're setting this up. And I hope this has been a super helpful answer for you. Thank you for asking it.